Well, I've always been interested in making bikinis. Um, I've actually wanted to sell bikinis in high school. I've always been that friend that always had like all the swimsuits. Like if we were going to parties, I would always have like different swimsuits on. And so the idea of actually sewing came about in, I want to say last year in September. I just bought a sewing machine and I just went from there like, I've just been sewing ever since, so yeah, it's just like it was just the idea that came up, came up out, out of nowhere because I wanted to sell swimsuits at first, but the process of actually making them never really came until like last year. So I would say last year in September. So you never had like mama or grandma never taught you how to like sew mm -hmm. or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Kind of just yeah, it's just kind of like it's just a talent that you you'll realize like. You have you have so much talent that you just have to go out there and like try to try stuff. So I tried it out and I actually liked it. So yeah, self talk. Okay, so. okay, like that. What is it that like? What is that like? One thing that you really love about making bikinis, like? I like that every time that I do actual actually sew, um, I learn something different. Like every time that I pick up a sewing machine, I mean I don't pick up a sewing machine. Every time I pick up some fabric and I try to do something different, I learn something new. And that that's what gets me really, um, learning something new every step of like being self-taught, like a self-taught thing. Like I I just like that, so yeah. Do you only wear your own bathing suits? I, no, I, I wear <laughs> other bathing suits, but I, I should wear my own, only my own bathing suits, but I wear other ones. I gotta well, support so. the product, come on now. Yes, definitely. So, uh, your brand, Shaded Body, when did that idea first come up and how did you like get it off the ground? So, the name Shaded Body, I was really in between names. I wanted to name it a couple things, like it was a list of things. And I really thought, I actually asked my friends, I asked them, like, which one do they do you think would, you know, fit with me? Because I actually wanted to have something i wanted to brand my name around my name like namaya or maya but i also wanted my brand to be like something bigger than that so i just thought of like shaded body out of nowhere i had like a couple things i know i wanted something with body in it so once i picked shaded i was like okay you know what shaded body so i just went after after i those two matched to me i was just like you know what that's the name that's where I'm going and that's what I'm bringing so do you feel like you have any like personal like values and stuff like that that you like put into like your brand and stuff like like that you like try to like make sure everybody knows this is the values of the brand and that they're my values too um yeah somewhat I try to um have like a certain signature look kinda um just to have like a piece of me still in it so I would say yeah, just a little, not much, but. So do you ever like, you ever feel like unmotivated to do to do it? Yeah. So what do you what do you like tell yourself and like how do you keep motivated when you don't want to do it? So another thing is, like I said in the beginning, like learning every step of the way. Like when I learn something new, that's what really motivates me the most because as I get to learn, so as I get to learn, like. I could really do this like I can really do something that I put my mind to and that's really what motivates me the most like wow like I'm really self-taught I really done all this by myself so I just keep myself motivated by like my work basically like what I learn differently every time I make a swimsuit or you know try different ideas so that's what motivates me so like as far as work I'm sure it's a lot of work between school and Obviously, you make your own bathing suits. That mm -hmm. takes up time too. How do you like balance between all of that? Um, I really, you just really just have to find time. Really, time is precious. So I really try to find time between work and like my actual swimsuit design and work. So I just kind of balance it off. Like I give myself time for school as well, and I give myself time for me design it so that way it just comes in line so it doesn't so i don't have any like bumps in the road so i just it's, it's really all about timing 
did you ever have like on your way to like building up your brand did you have like a specific moment that got you like really excited or whether it was like the first drop or the first sale or something like that um my first sale my first sale and my like just first drop was just like wow like it was just everything was just not even before the first drop like me actually getting everything together was just so wow like to me because i was just very nervous like i was very nervous about everything i was very nervous about the drop i was nervous about me launching i was nervous about the swimwear i was selling like i was just nervous about everything but as i realized like wow i'm actually doing something that i told myself i was doing i was gonna do months ago and now that it's actually falling into line it was just like that was like my wow moment like just in the my whole process of like launching was just right. basically my wow moment a lot of work a lot yeah of, yeah so you have like a lot of support mm-hmm. a lot of support i've always had a lot of support though with like everything i've always had like friend wise family rise that supported me through so much so right What's been like the biggest hurdles of like everything? Um, my mind. My mind was would probably be like my biggest downfall. So like it, the hurdles aren't even. The hurdles aren't even like you no know, sales. The hurdles aren't even is isn't even the hard work you put in. It's really my mind because my mind is like. You know how like people say like you are your biggest enemy. Like, that's how I feel about it, it, it as well. So, my mind is probably, like, my biggest hurdle. Only because, only because of, I just have to get myself in that mindset where I would have to be consistent and I would have to work harder than usual. Right. So, that's probably, like, my biggest hurdle, in my opinion. So, what do you, what do you, like? do every day like you know like work on your brand and stuff so well for my brand um i try to stay consistent with like just posting something at least or um or just designing sketch i have my ipad so i try to like sketch different things out just to see um i look up my next fabric i want to drop um and i also journal as well so like i journal and I talk about, you know, just with my talk to myself about how my day is going. And I try to keep myself like as motivated as I can day by day. So right. um, what do you have like ideas? You have like, I mean, any ideas to like expand or like grow? I get this question a lot about m- more ideas I have for my brand or just for me in general. I personally at this moment, I'm kind of like stuck in swimsuits well let me not say stuck but my mind is only kind of on swimsuits right now i know that like people always ask me like do you want to do like lingerie do you want to do like clothing dresses and i could see myself possibly like making dresses making more things that i'm making now other than swimsuits but mm, Right now, my main focus is like swimwear, so I would I would hope to expand because I definitely do want to expand. But as of right now, my looks my look is only swimwear as of right now. Right. Do you have any like long term like vision for the for shaded body in general? Yes, I do. Um, I want to be like Opali. Opali. It's a girls. It's a girls. Opali is a girls um, clothing site. Um, I would definitely want to be like somewhere in between like that. So I would hope for like a vision as small as shaded body to blow up as big as like Opali, Fashion Nova. Um, just somewhere in the like apparel brand business. So for sure. Definitely yeah. achievable. Hmm? Definitely achievable. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I believe me, you better do it. This interview gonna go blow up. I know, <laughs> I know. I'm gonna look back. I actually, the crazy thing about it is, I actually kind of like, which is a cool little thing. I kind of document the things that I do, like right before our, my launch. I made like a little video for myself, yeah. like just to, just to see like 
where I will be like a year from now. Right. So I definitely am very excited to look back at this interview right. from like a year or two and now just to think like, wow, like shaded body then and shaded body now. So right. yeah. Um, do you have any people that like influence you or like you like inspire you to keep working on? Um, my friends, my friends, my friends, my friends, my friends. My friends inspire me because most of my friends are entrepreneurs. Like they are just ugh. like my friends are just. I love my friends so much, and also, yeah, it's like my friends, my friends, and other people that I see like working hard. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like other people, but I mean, it's fine if it's your friend. Yeah, sure. it's, <laughs> <laughs> it is it's, who it is. Yeah, my friends, my, it's definitely my friends. My friend, my friends motivate me the most. Um, they've been with me through like all like my little downfalls or all my little doubts about myself. So yeah, my yeah. friends are probably like my biggest motivation, yeah. just because they work as hard. Yeah. So. What is it about like having a community like that around you that like is important you feel like to it's so important because like a lot of i get a lot of people telling me like oh my god like i wish i had as much as support as you or they talk to me and they tell me like how do you have so many like re people will post your things like they always tell me this and i'm like i just wonder like how don't you have like not saying like how don't you have that but it's like the people that you have around you are re really, really important because they get your mindset. Like, even though that doubt will come and creep up on you, you have people, like lots of people to tell you, like, you don't, that's something that you don't have to worry about. And I think that's very, very important because you listen to yourself, yes, but listening to other pe people's opinions on you, like friend-wise and support-wise, is really good as well. Because you never know, like, it's a lot of people that, like, envy others, and you would never know because a lot of people don't talk to them. So they might be like, oh, my God, this is, like, the biggest, like, I love your stuff, I love your stuff. But you would never know because it's, like, you don't really talk to them. So, like, when you have friends that actually talk to you and tell you, like, you're great, you're doing this, keep going, it's just very important and it's good. So. I felt that one. Um. Where do you draw your inspiration for your bikini, for like your designs and stuff like that? You said you like have a particular, iPad. yeah, like an iPad. And yeah, stuff. I have an iPad. I draw my things on this little app, um, like this little bikini app. I, um, yeah, I basically just draw it up. I don't really start. I don't really have like a start in place. I just kind of like. <laughs> yeah, like you know how like you have like a little artsy moment. Yeah. So that's kind of like, I can't really explain the moment. Like I just get to like drawing and I get to like seeing what pictures I want, what colors. Like I can't really describe like the moment, but like that's like what I get. Like it's just like I just use my iPad and I just sketch with my little pen because I like Apple Pen. Right. So how do you know when it's like okay, yeah, this is this is the one I want to actually go ahead and make now. I'll get tired. I'll get tired and I'll be like, okay, you know what? All right, this is it. Like, this is literally, because, well, I'm not going to say, like, my style is, like, crazy. Because it's, like, it's not really, like, I have, like, the basic triangle, like, swimwear. It's all about, like, my fabric and stuff, really. So, my design kind of stays the same, but it's all about, like, my fabric. So, once I get, like, the certain color and the fabric I want, I'm like, okay. This is it, so. so if it's about the fabric too, what do you think it is like? Is it important to you to make sure like you use fabric that you know other women want and like you like that's kind of like your vision for that? Yes, most likely like or like basically like what's trending as well, cause like the trends have a lot to do with like you know how like now it's like kind of like abstract like everybody's going more colorful cause it's the summer. So that's where I try to like lean towards as well. Like also what will look good on all skin colors as well. I try to lean towards like what's also trendy and what's like, what will look good on all skin colors as well, so. Um, what is it like, The what is it like to see like somebody wearing your like swimsuits? It, it's amazing. I think the feeling is just, 
crazy to me. Like, I don't think anything is real. So I just, I really don't. So like, I just, I'll just be looking like, oh my God, this is really what I'm doing. Like, this is something. So it, the feeling is just, I don't know it's amazing it's a really really good feeling just to see somebody actually like support or even like like what i designed so and it's like handmade as well like so i don't think anything is real i don't <laughs> like this you moment, just like explain that to me a little <laughs> bit this is not even an interview at this point like you just explain that to me a little bit i think <laughs> everything I think that this is like I think this is like a, a stimulation like I think, a stimulation you said a stimulation I think like <laughs> life is just like life is just running real like Very too. yeah like I think we're just living I think we're just living like we're just living I feel like we're just living in I don't want to go into a death video. I mean, I feel that. That's like a deep conversation. Yeah, like, like, it's definitely a deep I definitely, conversation. I'd be having, like, moments like that. Yeah, sometimes not I... Not, like, all the time. Yeah, not I'm me like, either, but, like, right now I'm having a moment because I don't think this is real, but... It's like, this isn't even real. Exactly, like... They're watching us through the windows. <laughs> That's should what, I even be saying this? Hey, like, right. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm coming to abduct your ass. Exactly. Um, What would you tell... Right, this is really the last question. What would you tell somebody who's like kind of in your position, might be in school, but has a past, something they're passionate about and they want to start their own brand or something like that. What would you tell them to give them advice? I would say do it, do it, do it. Don't think of, don't think too much about it. Just do it. That was probably one of my biggest setbacks is like, cause Shaded Body, Shaded Body could have been like dropped, but it was like me second guessing myself. So like, I would just say do it like if you will learn that once you just start and you just push yourself everything else will come in line like you don't have to think too much about the things that you want to do because you already set your mind on what you want to do so don't think too hard too hard about it and keep yourself highly motivated and yeah that's about it just keep your head up and keep going because at a point, I was in a position where, like, I was just like, I don't know if this is going to look right. I don't know how, like, I don't know if everybody's going to like this. And it's like, instead of, like, telling myself that, I could have just pushed myself. Like, I, I did a couple months ago. I pushed myself to tell me to, to just do everything that I want to do. Because you can talk about so much and not even right. do anything. So, it's all about, like, your action. So, I would say make that action happen and make that shit happen literally make it happen <laughs> and just keep pushing yourself so and keep your head up so go team we can all do it yes we can don't get depressed don't out here <laughs> manifest manifest that lifestyle that you want and that's it yeah. you heard the woman um before we do the lightning round, is there anything else you want to say? Any promo, something like that? Uh, no. Follow me, guys. Follow me on Instagram at Demilly, and follow my business, Shaded Body. Come get you a swimsuit. And that's about it. And support my pockets. So yes, I yes. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get through college and shit. Right. <laughs> All right, lightning round. You ready? Okay. Don't even think about it. Okay. One after another. Okay. A celebrity you want to see wear your brand. A celebrity you want to see wear your brand. A celebrity wants to wear? You want to see wear your brand. Oh, just a celebrity, Rihanna. Sorry. Favorite bikini set you've made? Uh, my bikini is, is a white one. Favorite color? Uh, red. Person who influences your design taste the most? Tiana. I don't know her last name, but it's her name is Tiana on Instagram. If you if you could go model your bikini on any beach in the world, where would it be? Uh, where would it be? Ooh, that's a good question. It would be somewhere in like in a beach in Bali, out of the country, somewhere. Flats or drums? Flats. Good answer. <laughs> would you ever do swim shorts? Mm, yes, I will. Did you have a nickname growing up? Uh, Puka Duke. Do you have a hero or an idol who inspires you? Um, Rihanna. 
If you won the lottery right now, what's the first thing you're gonna go do? If I would. Win the lottery right now, what's the first thing you're gonna go do? Um, I don't know. What would I do? Like buy or just what I would Just right now. Like what are you gonna go what are you gonna go do? Cry. <laughs> and thank God <laughs> in the universe for bringing me all this money. I would be thankful first and then I'll go. I'll leave. I'll leave and never come back. No, I'm kidding. I'll go out of the country. It sounds like it worked. <laughs> it sounds like it worked. I'll even go out of the country. That's the first, first place I'm going. It's out of the country. Far, far, far away. All right. That's Cinemaya. Thanks for stopping in the studio, girl. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me. Don't forget to follow me, guys. <laughs>